Yo, what's up guys? Today we are back on Pokemon Showdown for some more Are You Suspect test laddering. I'm using a sample team from the thread because I really just wanted to ladder, honestly, and it had Tarantrum on it. I love Tarantrum as a Pokemon. I think its design is so cool and the fact that it could just spam Head Smash now without taking any recalls. So that's why I wanted to use this team. Now before we actually start looking for a battle, I just want to say that I've decided that I'll be doing a Pokemon Red Randomizer Nuzlocke with a twist. It's going to have all Pokemon, basically. So, as you can see, this little derpy Amoongus is in Gen 1. It looks hilarious, and I'm honestly, I just can't wait to do this. And I was like, I'm really excited. I know some of you might not want to watch it. That's completely fine by you. I'm going to be enjoying this, so that's why I'm going to be doing it. Maybe some of you will also enjoy it as well. So, uh, that'll be coming in the near future. Without further ado, let us look for a battle, and... Um, we have found one right away. Vaporeon for Ubers. Okay. wonder what he has. This lag does not let me see. Alright, so my opponent's team. Looking like this thing has zero switching. So I'm leading off with it. Yeah, I'm leading straight off with um, you two. I'm leading straight off with uh, Tarantrum. Because if he leads Moltres, I get a kill with Head Smash. I'm Choice Banded and I Oko something. If he leads anything bar Hitmon uh, Lee or uh, Meloetta, I can just get a kill. So he ends up leading off with Electros. You can die. Hopefully I connect. Uh, this is a Choice Banded Adamant Head Smash. Nothing on his team is going to want to switch into this. Everything is O-Code. I'm pretty sure. Uh, camera might be able to take one. Possibly. Don't quote me on that, but uh, gone. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. This Pokemon's amazing. And the great thing is, I have switchings for whatever he can come in that can Oko me. Uh, like Hitmonlee, I have Cresselia as well as Quillfish. Um, his own thing, I have my Steelix. Uh, Cresselia takes on the majority of his team. A uh, big problem could be his camera up. We're actually going to calc how much this does to make a camera. I mean, it doesn't matter right now, but let me just have my calculator open. My handy dandy calculator. As uh, I'm just going to switch out into my Quillfish. I don't really care if he double switches right here because I have Cresselia for his Meloetta, so again, it's not like, it's in my best interest to switch out anyway, and uh, as you can see, he switched, he stayed in, unless he switches out after, but that does nothing, and uh, I want to get up a T-Spike, because I'm not expecting this thing to want to stay in, to be honest, and uh, if I can get a poison off on his, uh, on the majority of his team, it's actually really nice for me, he doesn't really have a solid switch in, uh, bar, I guess, Meloetta, which, um, as I said, I do have my Cresselia, which can just come in. And the reason I really wanted the T-Spike is because it uh, it gets me less scared of Tyrantrum and as well as Camerupt, uh, being that my Cresselia can take it on now with that T-Spike being up. So, ends up going for Hyper Voice. Does not do too much at all. I, uh, I'm really tempted to go for T-Wave right here, but Camerupt seems like his most likely switching. And I actually want him to go out to Camerupt, though... I don't mind Thunder Waving. Uh, if he goes camera up, so be it. That just gets poisoned. If he goes anything, if he stays in and goes for Hyper Voice again, great. So he doesn't end up going camera up, which is nice. I get the poison damage off on that. And because I am Spadef Crest, I should, uh, yes, I should easily be able to take on this uh, camera. Not easily, but I should be able to take on this camera up. So I'm just going to hit him up with, uh, how can I be sure? I mean, I don't care. If you believe me, <laughs> why does it matter to me? I'm still <laughs> I'm still recording, but uh, just gonna hit it with a Moonblast. One, it has that chance to lower a special attack, and two, I can eat up any hit anyway. And I just want to weaken Camerupt as uh, that's something that could possibly be in my way uh, later on. Uh, Moltres is looking like a threat though, as he is able to get up his Stealth Rocks. I uh, I get a crit, but no special attack drop. Unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, Moltres isn't really a threat though, as long as I keep my Tarantrum healthy. I don't really have a switch in for this thing. This this guy just say, hey, I'm battling Pokegame. Because there's a lot of people in here. Let me just ignore spectators uh, and just hit him up with a Moonblast again. Because if I get a special attack drop, now you can deal with this uh, camera up. And um, I mean, I'm going for the special attack drop. As uh, I do eat up his Fire Blast. And the great thing is because of sheer force, he can't burn me with uh, Fire Blast, so I can just Moonlight up, and then Fire Blast also can miss, and uh, Camera Up being dealt with is uh, really nice just for Cresselia, because Cresselia walls the majority of his team, so, uh, as he does end up hitting the Will-O-Wisp, unfortunate, unfortunate, um, 
What do I want to do right here? He's obviously going for Fire Blast. I mean, I might as well just Moonblast again. I can't do much outside of that. And uh, whatever he goes out into afterwards, I can deal with um, him on Lee. Getting that thing worn down is nice for my Tyrantrum. As uh, he is able to connect with the next Fire Blast. And he's going to go down with his Poison Damage. So I might as well uh, just go for a Moonlight. Because one, he could still miss. And two, obviously I'll be at more HP anyway after Leftovers and uh, Burn. And if he does miss, then I... Uh, though I will be in KO range of... Um, a few of his Pokemon. Uh, Meloetta I'm not too too scared about because I'm pretty sure that's specs just based on the damage that it did to my max Bedef Cresselia. Yeah, look at that, I'm at 1% more. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's specs, so um, my Drapion does outspeed it and so does my Virizion. So I'm gonna pause it to pick some Moo Bear back. Alright, so he ends up going Tyrantrum. Um, this Pokemon isn't really doing too much for me. Yeah, because I can outspeed this and this with um, my Drapion. Oh, maybe my Drapion. Uh, well, I can outspeed him on Leo 100% with my Drapion. But I'm just going to Moonblast. That way uh, he can't potentially Dragon Dance up. I am expecting him to Dragon Dance if he does have that or just go right for Head Smash. I just want to get off as much damage as possible as he seems to be a really, really bulky variant because uh, I am able to outspeed him right there. And. Rizion lets him go out into uh, Moltres, so I'm going to go out to Drapion because I can knock off and kill him, and uh, or knock him out, whatever, and uh, Hitmonlee can die to Poison Jab, if I'm not mistaken. I am adamant, so yeah, I can just go right for knockoff. off. Again, I don't have the best attack, but I'm just going to go for knockoff anyway, and uh, I'll pause it till he picks some more, be right back. Alright, so the thing about Hitmonlee is I can't knock it out at that range of HP. I need one turn of Poison, so I'm actually going to go out to my Quillfish. As uh, he did sack Tyrantrum in that following turn. I'm going to go out to Quillfish just to rack up the um, well life orb damage and poison damage. And I can just continuously spam my uh, my spikes if I need to. As um, I don't really care if Quillfish does go down uh, as long as I get off this damage on him. And uh, I should be able to deal with Virizion due to the fact that I have Steelix. So yeah, just going to go for Toxic Spike again. If he wants to Rapid Spin, that's completely fine. Uh, as he actually chooses to go for high jump kick, which means that my toxic spike will be there for the um, entirety of this match, if I'm not mistaken. And I can just go drape on once again and just click poison jab. Um, I'm glad he actually didn't choose to go for the uh, the rapid spin, because that toxic spike helps me beat my Loetta, to an extent. So, I'll just click poison jab right here, as I will be able to get rid of uh, Hitmonlee. Um, they don't run Jolly, they run Adamant, and I should be able to outspeed him. So, I mean, if he is Jolly, that sucks, but uh, it looks like he didn't, he's not running max speed, so. I mean, he didn't know I was Adamant, of course, but I'm able to get off, uh, or get rid of the Hitmonlee, which is a huge start for my Steelix. Obviously, he still does have that Moltres, but as long as I hit, um, yeah, as long as I hit my uh, Head Smash, I should be good. I'm actually going to go for knockoff right here, because if I, uh, let's say he misses, or he's modest for some reason, or something or another, I can... Uh, I might as well be able to try and get rid of this thing's Scarf, so. Uh, he is able to connect with that. He may or may not be Scarf, maybe Specs. I gotta go out to my Tyrantrum anyway. And um, I believe I am just gonna click Outrage. Is Outrage my best play? Thinking about it. I mean, Adamant Outrage from Tyrantrum. Tyrantrum. Can, can, can you get all these inferior Tyrants out of here? So, Adamant. Choice ban. I want to click Head Smash because I'm real. <laughs> I'm assuming he's Choice Scarf. Uh, well, duh, it's going to die to Stone Edge, but I don't have that. Head Smash. Let's just put the Head Smash count just to see. All right, 519 to 613. I don't want a little roll, though. Um, Outrage. Okay, Outrage just kills that. I think Outrage is definitely my best play, so I'm just going to click Outrage. Uh, as being able to get rid of Meloetta as well. Um, Meloetta should go down to Outrage, if I'm not mistaken. I don't want to just think I choked because Meloetta doesn't go down. Are you specs? Yeah, Outrage knocks it out. Nice. So, I'm able to knock out the Moltres, which was the last threat left, and Meloetta is dealt with by my Virizion and my Steelix. Uh, most importantly, my Mega Steelix. So, Tarantula put in so much work this game, uh, checking Moltres, and, um... Of course, it's not going to be able to live this hit from Meloetta unless it outspeeds for some reason. That'd be really weird, actually, that I outspeed. But uh, he's able to knock me out with the Psychic, and um, I can now go out to my Steelix Mega Evolve and just click Heavy Slam and get rid of this Meloetta. So that was a pretty, uh, well, not that fast. It's already 10 minutes, but 
That's a pretty um, quick game, I think. Tarantrum showing its worth. Yo, Tarantrum's a monster, man. I don't care. I don't care what anybody says. That dinosaur is power. So, uh, yeah, I don't think Meloetta can knock me out, even if it gets like a crit psychic spadef drop. I wouldn't hunt, like, I get like the, the RBY mechanics where I miss a 100% accurate move. I don't even think then uh, it can win. So, and as long as I get more poison damage off, like, <laughs> I'm just thinking like PS crashes or something. I don't know, but um, it's over. So, yeah, Mega Steelix eats that up and uh, Poison is able to knock him out. So, that's going to be game right there. And uh, let us look for another battle. I'll pause it till we find one. We shall be right back. All right, so we found another battle. Now, um, mm-hmm. What? <laughs> okay, I don't know what he saw, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, Cresselia puts in a lot of work walling the majority of his team. I want to lead off a coal fish and get up a toxic spike as quickly as possible because um, it really does hurt his team. I can also taunt Amistar. If I'm not mistaken, Amistar hits like 229 speed max, something like that, I think. And I'm 230 speed. Coolfish? Anyway, Coolfish should be a good lead unless he wants to lead off a Delphox or uh, Electros, which in this case he does. And um, I might just use this as a suicide lead, to be completely honest, just because I want to get up a T-Spike to deal with these monsters. Nah. Uh, do I want to go Steelix and then double into Tyrantrum? That way I can get a kill. <laughs> Why didn't I just lead Tyrantrum? It gets a kill. <laughs> I don't. I don't feel like I need this Pokemon for this game. I really don't. I mean, obviously it's a buffer to his X. Okay, whatever. Let's display smart and go out to Tyrantrum on whatever attack he wants to go for. If he goes for like Thunderbolt or Wild Charge, or say he's like a physical variant, that's cool. I mean, Volt Switch is the best play, but. Uh, if he doesn't go for Vault Switch, that's fine. So, um, that does a decent amount, not even gonna lie. I don't think that's specs though. Assault Vest is the most common Electros set, and um, I can win with SD, Virizion, or uh, anything really. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let us calc this damage real quick. Cofagrius, are you defensive? <laughs> are you defensive? Let's see, uh, let's see after the burn. I can 2 a KO him with Head Smash if I want to, and it'll always healing, healing Wish back later on. I could go for that play. That's definitely a play I can go for. Thinking about it. Thinking. Uh, let's go for it. But I have to hit two Head Smashes, though, for that to work in my favor. So, um, let, let's see if that works. As you can see, he hits the first one. I get Mummy. He misses. <laughs> unfortunate. Unfortunate. I mean, I'm going to take all this recall now. Uh, yeah, it was still going to be a roll if I can knock him out with the next one. Unfortunate for him. <laughs> I can't do anything about that. I'm sorry. I, I can't even say sorry to him. It's like, I'm sorry I just ran over your dog by accident, but sorry makes it better. No. No. I mean, that works. Why did I make that like high pitch? No sound. Um, hopefully I land the next head smash as I'll be able to get an Oko right here um, with it. And uh, I'm going to take all this recoil though. But I always do have the healing wish later on which was my plan uh, to begin with. And uh, he's kind of forced to go out to Delphox which I can just key wave versus if I'm not mistaken. Unless it's like subcom mine. Subcom mine could be an issue. Actually subcom mine could kind of wreck me. Maybe. Hopefully he's not. Don't be subcom mine. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on, man. All right, so he does go Delphox, and uh, Cresselia is especially defensive, so I will be able to take it on. Uh, a bit unfortunate that um, he dodged. I dodged that Wisp. Obviously, it would have been a roll in the next hit, but I, I can't do anything about that. So he goes for Grass Knot, and um, I kind of just want to... Hmm. Thunder Wave my best play? I think so, because I'm expecting this Cavalier to want to come in, and I might as well just reveal Thunder Wave right now. Also, if this thing wants to, like, Will-O-Wisp or Mystical Fire, whatever the hell it is, uh, happens. So he ends up going out into that. Uh, that's fine, because um, that thing's crippled. I don't know if it's Hazards, but uh, I'm going to go out to Quillfish anyway, because I can taunt him if he is Hazards, if he Shell Smashes, okay? Uh, if he gets fully paralyzed, nice. But he does end up going for his Stealth Rock. And i um, just going to get up this Sea Spike because I want to be able to deal with uh, the, the majority of his team as he goes for Spike. Okay, you got to stop, dude. No more. No more. 
No mas. Just, that's enough. Yeah, get out of here. Start getting up as many spikes as possible. Start wrecking this guy's team with hazards. That way I can go for the Verizion sweep. I don't know what type of, uh, I don't know what type of, um, Delphox he is though, but getting all these hazards up, uh, even if he freezes me, I don't care. Because I have scald. Ha ha ha. Look at that. Look at this. Thaws the user if executed successfully while the user is frozen. You know what that means? I click scald and I'm thawed. Ah, uh, and I get off damage. No, you should get the burn. Hello? Where's my burn? This is still a handy Pokemon. Or a good Pokemon. Whatever you want to call it. So, I could definitely uh, still use this. I want to get up Stealth Rocks though. Which I can get up versus Escavalier. I actually don't need this Pokemon actually because... I actually don't need this Pokemon actually. I don't need this Pokemon because a Scavalier is walled by Steelix and that just gets me up Stealth Rock. So I'm gonna go for another Spike as um, he might just also go for Flamethrower or something. I mean, he's gonna go for Volt Switch. Volt Switch is his best play. But I wanna get up this Spike as uh, he's able to knock me out. But I do get the Switch advantage right now. And um, I can go out to Verizion versus Amistar. If he goes a Scavalier, I get out my Steelix and I get to get up my uh, Stealth Rock. So. Looking good, looking good. Uh, he doesn't have going Amistar, which I get in my Verizion versus, and I can just click Leaf Blade. I don't care that he has a Scavalier, um, because all this damage, all this damage that I do to him basically means when I get to plus two, I can knock him out with close combat. Uh, plus two, I don't think after the, I don't think after the uh, spikes damage, I'd be able to knock him out. But he actually just ends up sacking Amistar, which is gonna work out for me because um, that means no more hazards and that's one less annoyance that my team has to deal with honestly because I could set up on Cresselia as it wouldn't be O code or 2 KO'd by Womb Last if I'm not mistaken because uh, I'm a star even though it's not that bulky Cresselia ain't that strong so goes out to the crab are you gonna scarf ice beam me? you're gonna get leaf bladed too I mean scarf ice beam won't be able to knock me out he can't knock me out with anything I'd rather get rid of this threat than anything so yeah, I don't know why he did that play. Uh, I get a crit, unfortunate, but... Why'd you send out... Send out the Pokemon with the super effective hit, please. The Delphox. I guess maybe Delphox is not Scarf. At the same time, I don't need to, sa I don't need to save Tyrantrum anymore. Uh, because even though I could... Potentially, um... Why'd you go this? Alright, whatever. Just gonna SD up and then hit him with a close combat. I don't even think he'll KO Electros at plus two, but I mean, that's going to be my play anyway because I can live any hit he wants to go for. So, e eel. <laughs> are you assault fest? Uh, plus two CC. Oh, God, it dies. All right, so, and even if he burned me right there, I had a Lumberry. So I can just click close combat now. I don't know why he's not going out to Delphox. Maybe he actually isn't Scarf. I mean, I'm already at plus two, so I can't do anything now, and he just sacks the Pokemon that, um, oh, that also dies, so. I mean, that's completely fine by me. Um, now I can actually save Tyrantrum because Tyrantrum can Oko Electros with Outrage. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. If he wants to go Delphox, I'm staying in anyway and going for a plus two close combat. If he's Scarf, it's revealed. If he's not Scarf, oh well. Uh, most expendable member on my team now is going to be Steelix, so. We'll, we'll find out. I mean, it's going to have to eat this close combat if it's not Scarf. Alright, so it is Scarf. And uh, he's going to be taking all that damage. Good, good work in my favor. Uh, and I'll just go, um, I'll just go Cresselia and just start firing off Moonblasts. I don't, I don't need Cresselia at all for this game. I mean, Cresselia wins the game. Uh, did I just click Moonlight? Moonblast. Just damage. Damage is damage. Yeah, that's a zero. Okay, cool. I recovered it off. He's probably, <laughs> I mean, I didn't mean to, but. It did it, but he's admitting defeat. Um, you know how I do, guys. I don't say good game until all six Pokemon are gone. But nice, all the damage, and I get a special attack drop, <laughs> despite him. Um, I, again, it doesn't really matter if he wants to go Electros here. He can, I guess. Um, it's Scarf Delphox. So let's say I do end up healing, wishing back up my Tyrantrum, which I am gonna do. Uh, that's how I'm gonna win this game. I'm gonna healing wish back up Tyrantrum. But, uh, like, even if I, 
let's say even if I did that and I lost Crest, uh, Delphox can't beat Tyrantrum plus Drapion plus uh, Celix because it has to lock itself into Fire Moon and Tyrantrum can eat that up. So uh, Delphox will go down and um, his last is that Electros, which I am just going to Healing Wish back up my uh, Healing Wish back up my Tyrantrum, and then I will click Outrage, and he will die. So that is a that is a plan. I could also be real and click Head Smash and sacrifice the game, but no, we're gonna click Outrage. <laughs> I don't even think he'd be sacrificing the game because Drapion can eat one Flame uh, Thunderbolt or Volt Switch, whatever this guy wants to do, and uh, knock him out with Knock Off afterwards. So. Yeah, just gonna healing wish or lunar dance my bad my bad cut it's a lunar dance same thing <laughs> actually is the exact same thing isn't it it's just Cresselia's version of it and uh, I just click outrage and um, tarantrum is still just putting in work so tarantrum is deserving of that thumbnail it's always deserving of the thumb I love this dinosaur I think it's one of my favorite Pokemon I mean uh, design wise but uh, other than that not really uh, but we're gonna look for another battle and I'll pause it so we find one we shall be right back wasn't I using this like yesterday? <laughs> um, I swear it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. Okay. Um, so I know all his sets. Actually, his sets are more threatening than anything. Uh, yeah, it really is. Uh, my uh, my Steelix wall is Quillfish, so I can just lead off with that. And my. Uh, Cresselia puts in a lot of work versus his team. I am just going to Mega Evolve and get up my Stealth Rocks because I want to force his uh, Skun Tank to defog. Uh, Steelix is definitely a threat to my team, so I have to, you know, be wary about that. I could just Earthquake right here to be completely honest, as I'd be able to um, weaken the Steelix. I probably should, but he ends up going for Earthquake of his own. And uh, what I am going to do is just Earthquake right here because I need a weakened Steelix. Uh, well played Steelix could actually beat this team according to the uh, <laughs> according to what the thread says. So I'm just going to EQ as um, I'm able to get off a hell of a lot of damage as he's going to get up his Stealth Rock. And whatever he switches into, uh, nothing appreciates this. Like, yeah, nothing appreciates this hit. So, I mean, Quillfish is also a potential option, but it is a Suicide Lead Quillfish, so... And I'm able to knock out the Steelix, which is great. Big threat to my team gone. One thing stopping Cresselia gone. Uh, next thing is Skun Tank, of course. But, well, we'll see. I'm just going to EQ the uh, Quillfish when it comes in because I know it's the taunt lead set. And uh, the more hazards I get up, the more I uh, scare him into wanting to, um, to defog, which is going to be in my favor, getting rid of those rocks. And I can always Healing Wish back up my Steelix later. That way I could deal with his Tyrantrum. Well, not that it's that big of a threat. I mean, it's a huge threat. Because it is Dragon Dance, but uh, hopefully I could deal with it. We'll see. Uh, Moltres looking like a threat, of course. But whenever Moltres comes in, Tyrantrum gets a kill. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Quillfish doesn't end up coming in. Like I said, I know it's a suicide lead set, so I'm just going to Earthquake this thing. He can't touch me unless he wants to explode. He's just going to get up a... If he gets up T-Spike, that's a poor play because I have a Quillfish of my own. So, maybe he doesn't see it. Hopefully, he still likes his blocking this little picture. Lock it. But he doesn't end up going for his spikes as I am able to knock him out. And, uh, again, he, he'll he be forced to probably defog. Um, he's either forced into Moltres right now or, I guess, Verizion. Verizion shouldn't be able to knock me out with a close combat, to be honest. I could be wrong, but I'm, I don't think I am. Yeah, I really don't think I am. It uh, doesn't end up going out to Moltres though, and uh, again, I do have my Cresselia just to eat up this hit. And I can always T-Wave his Skun Tank, so I'm good with that. Yeah, uh, I don't know why he played it. He's playing it a bit diff like oddly. Uh, he probably should have went Skun Tank first in Defog, but obviously he couldn't do that versus Steelix. Um, I eat up this hit, <laughs> as I was expecting to, and uh, I'm just going to Thunder Wave right here. Uh, the, the Skun Tank can't really touch Cresselia uh, because of Pursuit. Sucker Punch, things like that. So I am able to cripple the Skun Tank upon switching. And uh, if he wants to defog, so be it. If not, that is fine. I'm actually going to go for Moonlight and then switch up to Quillfish because I want to uh, make him defog. I really do want to make him defog because these hazards are a little bit annoying for me. Obviously, you can see that attack did zero. 
<laughs> literally zero. Uh, I'm just gonna Moonblast and get off a bit of damage on this Pokemon. I don't think it matters. Uh, the biggest threat to me is, is, in fact, is Moltres, so I do want him to defog as quickly as possible for me. And uh, if let's say he randomly decides to switch out, I don't know why, but I'm in a good position. So he does end up defogging away my hazards. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to go out to my Steelix right here and uh, just get up my Stealth Rock again and then you know proceed to deal with this Skun Tank with Earthquake and stuff like that. So he ends up going for Poison Jab. Yep, cool. And uh, again, just gonna get up my Stealth Rock as quickly as possible. Uh, allowing me to deal with the majority of his team, especially Moltres, and I'm really grateful that he defogged away those hazards. He just set them up, sacked two Pokemon, setting them up, while I sacked zero Pokemon. Uh, I sacked, okay, roughly 50% of my Steelix's health, and maybe like 10%, so he ends up going for Sucker Punch right here. Uh, peculiar play, and uh, he shouldn't be able to live this Adamant Max Attack. Something like Adamant, right? Your Adamant Max Attack. That's Adamant Max Attack. Right? That's Adamant Max Attack. Yeah, Adamant Max Attack, uh, Earthquake. Uh, a Skun Tank does have decent special bulk because the, st the spread usually runs some special bulk so it can pursue ghosts and um, just defog versus stuff in general. Also live like Moltres' Fire Blast and things like that. But uh, those Stealth Rock are going to be here to stay. And um, that should be good. Yeah, that should definitely be good. Uh, if Verizion comes in, uh, which I'm expecting it to, if he does end up stacking Skun Tank, he doesn't really have a choice. Yeah, I'm expecting it to. As long as I don't let Tyrantrum DD, I'm good. Uh, he actually ends up going out to Moltres, which I am okay with as uh, it's already been revealed that a Cresselia just eats this thing up. So, And it's already down to one more hit. Like, he can't switch into any hit. <laughs> he can't even switch into spikes because as you can see when it's flying, it's just a little bit touching the ground right there. That, that sounds like spike damage right there. But um, unfortunately for my opponent, he uh, ends up missing Fire Blast. And uh, I'm actually going to make the Quillfish play because if he does end up going Skun Tank, then I can always taunt it, preventing the defog. But if he does end up Fire Blasting as well, Quillfish isn't really a member that's needed much on my team as he does end up going for Fire Blast. Uh, getting the burn, a little bit unfortunate as I would be able to go for Scald right here. But I'm going to click Scald anyway, obviously. It's a little bit annoying. Uh, can't do anything about that though. As he's able to knock me out with the next one. Um, Alright, might have misplayed actually a bit. Let's see, what do I do here? Hmm. How can I win this game? Verizion is a threat, obviously. But my, if, as long as I win a speed tie, I should be good. I really don't want to make it come down to speed ties, but I'm going to go out to my Tyrantrum right here and just click Outrage. Uh, that burn hurt a little bit because I could have just Scalded and uh, knocked out the Moltres. And then, um, but then again, Verizion would be able to SD up. I mean, Cresselia deals with Verizion anyway. I know he's a Life Orb variant. I could T-Wave him. Uh, his own Tyrantrum might actually be a problem. So it depends what he wants to do right here as uh, he doesn't go in for Fire Blast. And I'm able to knock him out with the Outrage. And I should either be able to get two kills or let his Verizion take CC damage. Uh, by that, I mean Life Orb, Stealth Rock, and the drops from CC. So unless he wants to go out into his own Tyrantrum and just click uh, Outrage, which is also a play that he can make. Though that does allow me to... Um, that does allow me to Thunder Wave him. He doesn't have Gwyneth Verizion. Uh, Life or Close Combat should be able to knock me out from this range of HP unless I'm really underestimating Verizion's bulk and... Uh, no, no, Tyrantrum's bulk and Verizion's offensive you know, power. But uh, it is able to knock me out. And um, yeah, that's fine. That's completely fine. I uh, should be good, actually. I know Steelix can eat one up, but I'm positive that Drapion can eat one up and just knock him out with the Poison Jab. Uh, if he wants to go out to Skun Tank, then uh, I can SD up versus that thing. So, I should be good to go. Yeah, I should definitely be good to go. Uh, just going to Poison Jab right here, knocking out Verizion, or uh, forcing him into Tyrantrum, I guess, which I can then T-Wave with Microcellia. Or I can uh, even Healing Wish up with Microcellia and then go for the Steelix play, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. As long as I get rid of Verizion, I'm good. Here's hoping that plus one Head Smash doesn't Oko Cresselia from full HP. That'd actually be pretty crazy. It actually would be pretty crazy. I don't think it does, though. 
I'm thinking long term, like, he he has a chance to win with his DD Tarantrum, but uh, he does end up going out to Skuntank as fodder, uh, to which I can just, um, SD up versus, if I'm not mistaken. And I'll be taking minimal damage from all of his hits. I don't know why he went out to Skuntank when, I mean, it was his pivot, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know, because it, it's not going to be able to do crap to me. Pretty sure Drapion at plus two with a knockoff will be able to knock it out. I mean, granted, I'll be taking um, Aftermath, I guess. Are you staying plus two? Actually, that does nothing. I forgot it resists. <laughs> um, but I actually forgot to resist. I'm, I'm retarded. <laughs> How much does Aqua Tail do? Yeah. I'll be taking all this damage anyway. I might as well just knock him off. Uh, get rid of his recovery. Uh, I don't care if Drapion gets weakened because Cresselia can deal with the rest of his team by T-waving. Actually, it's okay if Drapion goes down. Because like I said, I could just T-wave the rest of his team. So, Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Should be good. Uh, 31 minutes, damn. That's a, that's a long time. You know, you never really notice how much time goes by when you're making a video. Uh, why? 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 Why did you make that play, bro? You don't need... What does Skuntank do for you? I have a Steelix. I don't know why he made that play. Uh, Skuntank, even if I had Earthquake right there, like he would just lost anyway if he didn't go for Sucker Punch. Because uh, Verizon cannot knock me out with close combat. And I can go for Poison Jab versus that. I don't know why he made that play. He just sacked Tyrantrum for some reason. That was one of his ways of potentially winning. But that was his only way of winning. <laughs> bro... Bruh, why did you make this play? Whatever, I'm inside, so it doesn't matter. Uh, now, now Skuntank's in range of uh, Aqua Tail. Yeah, Skuntank is like, it dies to Aqua Tail now. It's like 100%. I don't know why he made that play. Maybe he wanted to make me take Aftermath. But he ends up going out to Verzion. That's not going to be able to knock me out, man. It shouldn't be able to. I'm, I'm predicting 75%-ish. Maybe there. Maybe 74%? Yeah, unless I'm like, I'm thinking about 74%. 71, okay, close. But I can knock this thing out with uh, the poison jab and his last is the skun tank, which I, even if Drapion gets sucker punched to death, I, I can just go Steelix and finish him off. So very, very interesting um, game. I don't know. Like he set up hazards just to defog them away. I mean, obviously I, kind of forced him to, but I don't know why he went Moltres so early. I don't know. Uh, well played Tyrant. Even Steelix, if he played it a bit better, would have been a problem to this team. But uh, to each their own, I guess, as I can just go right out into my Steelix. And just EQ and Skuntank will go down. Let's think, do we want to do another battle? These RU matches take forever though. Like NU, I was just climbing the ladder. RU just takes a while. I'll probably just leave it at this though. Look at Steelix's stats. This is beautiful. This is like a, a Mega Metagross without any speed. This thing is a monster. I love this Pokemon. But uh, we're climbing the ladder, guys. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, feel free to leave a like if you did. If you are looking forward to the uh, red randomizer does like, I would actually like if you would tell me because, you know, that... I mean, I'm going to do it anyway. But if people are looking forward to it, that just makes me excited, I guess. Small? I don't know. <laughs> But uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe if you want to. I actually recently just hit 77,000 subscribers. Ah, we're climbing, guys. We're climbing. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, until next time, later.